Good morning, my fellow Green Thumbs. My name is Brandon with Easy Swap Plots, and today I just wanted to do a two week update on my Mimicking Nature Kitty Pool Sips Container Garden. Uh, about a week ago, we had about five inches of downpour in three days, and right after that, I noticed a huge LJ bloom in the uh, water reservoir, which is obviously the kitty pool. And I just wanted to show you what I'm going to do to try to clean that up, and we'll see how that works. Uh, I'm no expert, but I know that you can use barley straw, which I used on the aquaponic farm, which never really gave us much success. And there's obviously like chemicals or ponzyme, which is also made from barley straw. And um, I don't want to use that route. So I am going to use grapefruit seed extract, and we'll see how that goes. Let's go check it out. All right, so here is the kiddie pool uh, mimicking nature sips container garden. Uh, as you can see, the tomatoes are doing well, and I put them on a trellis running up to the uh, clothesline pole. Um, lettuce and spinach is taking off. I got two lemon trees that replace some pepper plants. I've got a skunk or something pulling all pepper plants and chewing them up and they haven't really been growing. So we'll get closer here so you can see what's going on inside the water reservoir. All right, so you might be able to tell where the algae line is on those fabric pots, especially that big one, it's pretty noticeable. The water line was that high. I obviously would have to punch holes in the kiddie pool to prevent the water from filling up. Um, I don't like doing that. I could have also pumped the water out or bucketed the water out. Um, honestly, I just left it with all the heat that was going on. And obviously we got extra nutrients in the water from our soil and so the algae is blooming. That is good nutrients, and I don't wanna waste that. So there you can see some lettuce and some spinach. So I'm gonna actually take a fishing net from my aquarium, scoop out the algae, dress, top the top dress, and then put in some grapefruit seed extract. So I got the majority of it. Um, here you can see I've got, let's see if it feels too close. Well, that's as good as I can get it. Um, I can show you a link to an article that I read on this. I also ran into a lady at the Mother Earth News Fair that was showing me how to grow lettuce in mason jars and she was using this to prevent algae from growing in the, in the jars themselves because the, she left them clear. So I read the article and it said anywhere from 5 to 10 drops per gallon. I'm guessing I got 15, 20 gallons in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in at least 50 drops. Alright, that's 50 drops. We'll see how that works. I may mix that up with a stick or whatever, but uh, that was just my quick update. Uh, other than algae being aesthetically displeasing, there's really nothing wrong with it other than it's using up extra nutrients that got washed away into your water reservoir. Um, so I'll do a quick tour of the small little garden I've got here. I obviously got a much larger garden down south about 50 miles at my parents' house. Spinach, lettuce, two climbing tomatoes, a pepper that I've replanted a couple times. Some more peppers that I replanted a couple times on the outside pots. In the middle, I have um, zucchini sprouting, and then my horseradish plants, which are all doing actually pretty darn good. And so, I hope you all have a good weekend. Stay cool, and happy gardening.